Hi, welcome to the series Learn Excel in 24 hours. In this video, we'll continue our discussion about uh, textual functions and specifically, we'll study the left, right and concatenate function. So, the data file that we are using in this one is the one called sample data file. So, it has multiple uh, data headers and pieces of data. We will specifically focus on the first column of data which has the container number because if you carefully uh, look at that, uh, the container number has a unique characteristic. The first four characters are alphabets and the next seven characters are numbers. So uh, we insert some columns in B and C and name the portion as alphabet portion and numeric portion. Now for the alphabet portion, we know the first four characters, which means the first four characters to the left. So we put the function in cell B2 as equal to left. So this function has two parameters. One is the textual data, the source of textual data, which is the cell A2 in this case. And the second part, how many characters from the left in this case is 4. So equal to left A2, 4. And then we use the drag and drop function and we can see in column B, all the alphabet portions are listed out there. Now for the numeric portion, we know that the last seven digits across the entire chain are numbers so we just say equal to right same like left two input parameters first is the source of textual data which continues to be a2 in this case and the second is number of characters from the right so we say seven so we have the numeric portion over here now let's understand another function called concatenate. Concatenate basically means joining strings together, joining characters, alphabets, strings together. Supposing we were given the alphabet portion separately, numeric portion separately and we wanted the entire container number. So insert a column B and just give it a data header as concatenate and the formula in cell D2 will become equal to concatenate. The first input parameter will be data in cell B2, which is the alphabet portion. And the second input parameter will be cell C2, which is the numeric portion. And you can see the result. It automatically joins the numeric portion and the alphabetical portion together. Now concatenate, remember, has no restriction in terms of number of input variables. It, you can have as many input uh, parameters as you want. Now supposing, let's do an experiment. Instead of the simple four alphabets and numbers, let's say we want to have the hyphen sign in between as a separator between the alphabet part and the numeric part. So we can just introduce another data header and say equal to concatenate. The first part will remain the alphabet portion. So B2 comma. Next we want the character hyphen. So in double quotes we put the character hyphen. Again separate it with a comma. And then choose the next part as cell C2. So you can see the result. What happens is yes it takes. So the first input variable is the alphabetical part then you have the hyphen and then you have the numeric part let's just study one more example in this example what we will do is we will continue to keep the hyphen in between the alphabets and the numbers but at the end of the numbers we will also put a forward slash so in column f i start with equal to concatenate the first input part will be the alphabet part b2 comma then we know for the hyphen in between we use the hyphen in double quotes comma 
C2 which is the numeric part and then we put another comma and in double quotes put the forward slash and we can see the result and as usual everywhere when we want the same thing to happen across the column we use the drag and drop function that is you know turning the mouse pointer to the bottom right and double clicking over there so that the entire column gets that so concatenate you can have as many textual uh, parameters as possible each one has to be separated with a comma and if there is any character that needs to be put in that specific character that you need you have to put it in double quotes thank you